the acrobatics. Tail walking, love it. I was thinking the other day, like one, geez, how long have we known each other now? Let's see, Claire is six going on seven. So there's seven years. Well, and then Melissa was at Deb's office for two before that. So that's nine. Right. And then, Like, let's put it this way. What, what year did, what, how long ago did you leave OMSA? I worked with Melissa. Let me see, it's been 11, I'm gonna like say, 12 be years, years ago. Yeah, it's gotta be like 12. So I've known you 12, almost 13 years, yeah. at least. Yeah. So yeah, Jim and I go back. She sort of figured out 12, 13 years, I used to work with his wife. And uh, <laughs> it's funny because I came back from fishing one day and telling her the staff at work the story. And uh, she's like, you know, I should introduce you to my husband. You guys would have a good time fishing together. And uh, she probably should not have uh, opened that door. That's Pandora's box. So, you yeah, got- I, I remember that story because she still reminds me of it, how John came in and told her how he used his machete to hack through the undergrowth <laughs> to get to a secret fishing spot. <laughs> and that's when she knew we would be a great partnership. <laughs> I don't know if it was like the first time we went fishing or one of the first few times, we were out there at the aquarium, like in the mud, waist deep in, in the muck, waiting and <laughs> oh. slaying them. But for all you viewers out there listening to this, it's, it's funny because people always talk about like how much I know about fishing, but I learn things from the people that I hang around with and I fish with. Like saltwater, all the guys down in Florida, they taught me a lot about saltwater. Back home, it was just take a weight and a hook and put a piece of shrimp and fish. But I'm learning a lot more. And then Jim here is really knowledgeable. Lures, types of fish, techniques. And definitely since he grew up here in North Carolina, he knows all the waterways. So it's awesome. So this one, I, my, my advice to you guys out there in YouTube world, is uh, get with your friends and get with people that know the area and that fish a lot and just exchange notes. You know, every once in a while I teach Jim something. Oh, I'm <laughs> and, funny. And every once in a blue, I outfish him, but he usually catches more fish than me. So folks, look how beautiful this is. Look at this. Golly, like Field and Stream magazine here. This is awesome. I just wanted to give you guys a view of what a gorgeous area this is. And we have this all to ourselves. Oh my, oh my oh look at the colors on that. Is that a native? No, uh -uh. It's oh it's beautiful. Yeah, when they get big they get real real pretty. Oh man. And there's still two more. That even that isn't even one of the ones I was looking at. Brown time. So Jim just caught that big rainbow trout out of this hole. I've been sitting here looking at. There's another big brook trout down there, and I, what I think is a brown trout. But those are the two I was looking at. And then he pulls this big rainbow out of this hole. Fourteen. Fourteen inches. Yep. I'm on. I'm on. Ah, uh, that's all right. Hey. Is it my rainbow? No. Brooke. Brooke. Nope. Uh, safe release. All right, fish on. Took a little while, a little brookie. Oh, okay, we got good sunlight. Look at how pretty that fish is. Again, on the outside of the mouth, they're just swiping at it. Yeah. Easy, easy, easy. There you go. There you go. Nice. All right. Hey, the trout worm's the... Oh, no! Trout worm's the trick. Yeah, they, they like that little drift in there. Oh, something just kept rising. That's another one. That's the third time I see something rise okay. in that same spot. Woo! -hoo -hoo -hoo! Oh, yeah. No, that's both of us. Oh, no, he's, he's tangled in your line is what it is. That's your rainbow. There it is. Your yeah, baby! Come back. Come back. Come back. He ain't ready. Oh, he ain't, man. Here he goes. Oh my gosh. I thought, you, I thought you were coming. This is insane. All right. Come on. Come on. <laughs> <laughs> we'll just pick him up. <laughs> That's awesome. 
<laughs> oh. the outside of the nose. Yep, all of them have been that way. Yeah, it's crazy, right? Wow. Ah. All right. Oh, thank you, sir. You're welcome. Yeah. Why you, you, oh, while you work on him, I'll work on this. All right. You got your hemis? I don't need him. He, he just let it go. Nice. Folks, look how pretty this fish is. Ooh, okay, 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 I know, I know. We're just gonna cut a quick pic couple pictures and you go home. Brown. Yo, look at this pig! Oh my God! Do not let that big old bruiser get off. Oh, you snagged him, I think. Oh, he throws going there. Don't go down there, don't go down there. Oh, no! Oh, no! Wow! What is it with me and the big browns? Probably an 18 inch brown. That thing, you see what I'm saying? That thing was a, that yeah. was the monster. There's still a couple down there. I can still see them. Wow. All right, so uh, we're done with the trout. We're gonna go have some lunch. We're gonna head over to the new river and do some smallmouth fishing. So, uh, so far it's been a success. I haven't gotten the numbers of fish that we've caught in the past. Uh, we just estimated we're probably in the in the upper teens, maybe or lower 20s. So not big numbers of fish, but good quality fish. And again, for half a day, not bad. And then we're gonna go have some lunch, and then head up to the New River and do some smallmouth fishing. I want to show uh, Jim the hole that I discovered. It's really cool when you're able to share show someone else who normally teaches you. So uh, anyway, thank you guys for tuning into this segment, and we'll see you on the next fishing adventure.